Welcome to Drager's Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. We want to show you this beautiful 1962 Corvette Roadster. It's beautiful. Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington at Drager's Clubhouse. And I want to introduce you to this beautiful 1962 Corvette we just got in. So I'll put this hood down. I always bring them down to a bite here and drop them, and that's a good way to do it, and they close nice. Now look at this car. I mean, look at the paint on this car. This thing is just a beautiful car. It was all, there's been a frame off restored. I mean, you look at the chrome on here. It's this, this is a nice car. This is above average. Two owners. The original was the Chevy dealer's son. The guy I bought it from, his dad bought it. It was like in the, a year old or so. And I have registrations back to 1971, but he owned it before that. So at least I, I have some records on it. And I got some ish, you know, some receipts with it and stuff. But you can just look at it. the hubcaps. They all look great. The whole thing. This thing looks just beautiful. It, lots of tire tread on the tires. I mean, oops, I didn't shut that hard enough. I mean, they, they close nice. And I got to tell you, when you look, look at, this, look at this dash on here. It looks brand new. It looks gorgeous. I mean, that's as nice as you're going to find anywhere. You can just see that whole thing is just looks great. Now, it, there's a tray that goes in here. Most of them don't have the trays in. You can buy them, and then you got to paint them to match. But we don't have a tray for it. But the dash pad all looks good. The seats look good. It's got seat belts in here. Carpets all look good. I mean, it just it just runs and drives really good. It's a it's a really nice car. Uh, the radio I haven't played with it. The radio it works. works. It works. Yeah, the so town and country works. It scans through the stations. It scans the stations and everything. Yeah. Huh? So let's put the top up for them. While we're right here, whoop, those slide right off. Ooh. Lift this all up. And then this, this comes down. And this comes down. And you gotta clip these uh, on the back here. You get it in the right spot. Oh, I had it in the right spot. My finger won't fit underneath here. My arms are not long enough. There, Andrew got it. And then all you have to do is clip it in the front here. And they're in. I must not have it in the hole. I'm not looking. No, no, it's not lined up. There it goes. I didn't, I didn't look in there like I should. The top is in nice shape. It's wrinkly because it's down all the time and it hasn't uh, been up. But I don't know. It's shiny. Anyway, not much to putting it up or down. So you got to loosen it up here in the front so that'll come back and that takes the tension off this, these back ones and you reach in here and lift these levers up and then you can and that all happens then you reach in there and push that button and you can see how clean this is right in here I mean this whole car is just it's beautiful I really like this car and so that just it just goes in very very simple you can do it one person can do it it's not a problem. Oop. So you can see how that works. This door, you, I mean, you look in here, you can see all the sill plates, the door jams. It all looks good. I mean, the paint on this thing's beautiful. Look at this nice door. And the windows, they crank up and down easy.
closes nice. So Andrew's opened up the trunk already. Got a car cover in here. And we tried to buy a floor mat for it, but nobody's got it in stock. Red or black? I wanted to get a red one, and I didn't even want to do a red one. So it's got this carpet in here. And you can see, we got the, the lug wrench and the jack extension, extra belt, extra hose. It was in here when I got it. And you gotta have a wrench to get, to, oh, I, got, I can get it. It's got a spare in here. Not much of a spare, but it's got a spare. And there's your spare, and there's your jack. He's put it in here with rags and a carpet in here. And just an old bias ply tire just to get you by. So that's how the trunk looks. Look at that underside of that trunk. It look good. Anyway, we'll get that, but you can see all the chrome here looks good across here. This closes good. So everywhere you go on this car, just it's car is nice. I think you'll have a hard time finding one that's any nicer than this car. I'm really impressed with it. I bought it over in East in I was gonna say East Bremerton, but it's really in Silverdale. It was actually close to Hood's Canal where he was at there. So we're gonna, this, we haven't started this thing. I didn't start it yesterday. I did, I moved it a little bit uh, yesterday, shut it off and so it hasn't ran since yesterday. And it's just cold right now. So Andrew, go ahead and sh give us a cold start. I mean, and this is just the way this thing's been starting. It just starts right up right now. I didn't even worry about it not starting. I mean, this thing's a beautiful, beautiful car. Original engine. This engine, uh, it was long to the son of a Chevy dealership in California. And he blew the engine up, but they rebuilt it. This is original engine, so the numbers match on here. Yeah. The numbers are right down here on the, on the block where they're supposed to be. And I, and I got a picture of that that I, I'll add to the video. So you can just hear this thing running and driving now. Take a walk underneath this 62 Corvette. Show you how nice it is under here. There's not much to show you because it's all in great shape. Spare tire cover's all in great shape. Spare quarters are all in good shape. It's not cracked or anything around here. It's all solid. Got good rubber on the car all four corners. How nice everything's all painted up, frames painted nicely, and leaf springs, all that rear end's all in nice shape. I think the ugliest thing on the underside is this exhaust. There's, it just looks kind of crusty in some spots just because they probably uh, custom built this because they looks like they built it in sections, so it's got a lot of welds in it. But other than that, the underside of this car is very, very nice. There's nothing to show you. All the fiberglass pans are all in great shape. The frame's solid. And look how nice the rockers are. I mean, it's just it's clean everywhere you look. I mean, this is the ugliest spot I saw on the floor pans right here. Is this paint just peeling off a little bit. But that's about the worst of it. I mean, the frame's all painted nice and straight. And doesn't look like it's ever been wrecked at all. Everything looks straight that way. Look at that. I mean, it's just nothing to show you. It looks bad. It's not show under here, but it's very clean. It's the bottom of the four-speed tranny. Bottom of the engine. This thing's been sitting here for, I don't know, a day, I guess, at least. There's no oil dripping anywhere. I mean, it's all dry we put it on the rack yesterday and it's just there's nothing nothing dripping out of the pan or 
rear main or any of that stuff. You know, usually they'd be dripping pretty good. I don't see any of that. So, got a little drip right there on the tranny, but. It's all in great shape. I mean, the side of the block, it's all painted nice. Exhaust is all in good shape up here. It's like somebody probably painted all this up here, silver paint or exhaust paint. But it looks nice. All the front end looks nice too. This doesn't look great right here, but it might clean up a bit. All the fiberglass looks good though. It's not cracked anywhere that I see. Oh, nice car. Just another view for you. I think you'll like this car. It's above average. We're going to get the 62 Corvette out right now and take it down the freeway for you so you can see it running and driving down the freeway and Andrew's ready to start it up and again you know it's, it's been it's been an hour since we had it running probably and anyway it just starts right up every time. Look at that paint though, isn't that nice? Just look how nice that paint is. Paint is beautiful. There's our 63 split window right there. That's, that's another super nice car. Oop, and it's almost out the door here. So we did, the gas gauge was low, so we're going to go to the gas station, which is right behind us, which is a farm store, and they have non-ethanol gas. We love it. We put it in all our cars, so that's where we're heading right now is to the gas station. And again, it just gives you a little more time to see it running, driving down road it's a great driving car I just I look at the dash and the instrument panel there it's just like brand new this thing's gorgeous I can't say enough about it and there's the gas dock right there is this right close Yeah, put the 92 in there. This is a neat car. So you can see this is all our gasoline is ethanol free. So this also gives us a good chance to, uh, I put fuel in it, I think, on my drive back. I know I did. And uh, I didn't put a lot of fuel in it, probably. I just figured out how much I had to do to drive back. And anyway, we can double check the gas gauge. I'm I think the gas gauge is working fine. It works. It just it's getting down there. It was bouncing around on round E. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to run out on the freeway. I, I played with everything, and the only thing that I saw that didn't work was the clock. The radio works. The town and country part of the radio works. Uh, all the gauges work. The wipers. The horn. The horn button is not in the right spot, but I got it to work. So it's. Uh, I know the horn works. <laughs> it's got to adjust it a little bit. Anyway, I mean, you can just see how nice this car is. 
everywhere you look. It just, it's beautiful. There's a couple little spots here and there where it's got, you know, a chip or something. I don't know if there's a chip, there might be a scratch. See, like right there or something. That's a scratch. I can feel it. I wanted to show you this crack right here on, on here. There's a couple other little spots I'll show you. We got another crack right here, you can see. But for the most part, there's nothing here. This thing's just beautiful. And again, I'll say it again, that dash looks brand new in this car. Everything, it's really nice. This is old Highway 99. This is a road that goes all the way from Tijuana, Mexico to British Columbia. Not a lot of it's connected like it used to be. But this is the old highway right here. Drove it many times in the good old days. And that's I-5 right there. We're going north so we can uh, go south. So it's maybe a couple miles an hour slow. Showing 50 right now on my phone and showing just over 45 on the Speedo. So it's pretty close. Pretty close and it's 50 there, huh? Yep. Yep. Dropping down now. But they're doing 70 miles an hour right through here. This is a 70 mile an hour stretch. over the years and most of them aren't this quiet. Then we're back to Draggers. Hope you enjoyed that short ride. When it brings it in we're gonna we're gonna do the lights show you that they work. There's the lights, park lights, turn signals, turn signal. How about the horn? You got to get in the, just the right spot. Oh, there it works. So how about, how, how about the wipers? Are they electric or vacuum? I they're, electric. they're electric. Yeah. They're electric. Okay, pull it ahead. I didn't get high beams, did I? Oh, yeah, there's the high beams right there. Okay. Oop. Driver by. Just look how nice this car is. Look at the, look at the chrome work on that thing. Look how nice that is. 
How about back here? Lights. That's brake lights. That's tail lights. There's brake lights. Brake lights. Turn signal. There you go. Turn signal. There you go. Super. It's a great driving car. You just saw it go down the freeway.